Have you ever heard of, of the um, Act 9 reserves? No. And that is why the colored com community is such a difficult conversation. Um, I think it was during apartheid or before, I know before apartheid, if I'm not mistaken. Remember, there was a lot of slaves that was brought into, into South Africa, specifically in the Cape, right? Yeah. That is why the colored community of South Africa have the most diverse genetic makeup in the world. Because you had Malaysians, you had Indonesians, you had Indians, you had the Dutch, the French, etc., etc., right? And also they used it as a pit stop to go to, to trade. So when they came, there was obviously, right? But you must remember these was there were slaves for the most part. So what happened was the descendants of these women, right, were then taken to what they refer to as the Act Nine reserves. And the Act 9 reserves was colored or so-called colored people that were put in different parts of South Africa, completely removed from society, right? And I think there was a few in Cape Town, in the Northern Cape, in the Free State, etc. But I've read about it. I've never ever met someone from there until last week. So I went to Inka is a, a content creator, white lady. She speaks about um, and learning apartheid ideology she calls out racism discrimination great content creator right and they were having a conversation around white south africans and it was you know you you want to hear what happens between the white in the white community <laughs> and they were basically calling out um white people in certain parts and then i went into this live and i'm listening and then i obviously went on and I just wanted to say thank you. I said thank you for having these conversations, you know, and for consciously trying to unlearn it. And this one lady came on. Um, her name was Dione. And she spoke about being from one of the, the Act 9 reserves. And she actually said that she didn't know that what white people and black people looked like until she needed to move out of the reserves to go and study. Mm. She had seen them on TV but she had never met a black person or a white South African. Sure. They are still there. That's why the more you learn about the colored community, the more I realize there's certain things that you cannot touch on. They should really just remove that color term. They should remove the color term. But then you read things where they say that the colored community, those reserves, do you know how they, they split them? Mm -mm. She said that when they decided to segregate the colored communities, first they segregated them from their families, then they segregated them according to hair texture, color, eye color. Mm -hmm. So now it was, oh, you've got blue eyes, you go there. Mm -hmm. You've got lighter skin, you go there. Mm -hmm. You've got green eyes, you go there. Your hair texture is coilier, so you go that side. You look more Indian, you go that side. You have straighter hair, you go this side. Mm. They, it, it's not a simple conversation mm. and when you understand that it's not a simple conversation when South Africans go off at night I really respect them when they do that because I always say as Africans we need to respect each other's the cultures we need to respect each other's histories and if you don't know the history maybe it's best that you don't speak on it